Hello everybody, so welcome back to another video. I know it's been a hot minute since I've actually done anything on the channel, but it's about time. We're actually going to be going a little bit bigger with the Gladiator. It's something I've legitimately been wondering and wanting to do for ever since I got it, which honestly was over a year ago. And honestly, that's also about how old the wrap is too. It's got about two more years on its life before we figure out what is the next step with the purple, or am I gonna switch it over to something new? But for anybody wondering, the this is the Rubicon trim, and the easiest way to tell is because of the colors of the hooks. And I'll show different trims. Standard and Overland gets the black hooks. The 4xE gets the blue hooks. The 392 Hemi Wrangler gets the golden hooks, and that's honestly how I've been able to tell for the longest time. But as you can see, it, the Rubicon does actually come with 2.5 inch stock shocks as standard with the Rubicon package. And you also get these raised fenders, which are great. And that is bird do shit. Uh, <laughs> you get that because you're able to put bigger tires. You can honestly could have gone up to 35 inch from the factory if I wanted to, but that's not big enough. I need more. So as of right now, I do have an appointment over at Criswell Chevrolet, not really Criswell Chevrolet, but Criswell Dodge Jeep Ram. They're literally right next to each other and their custom shops is in the middle. So I can imagine it's going to be a good mix of both there. And it'd be kind of cool because that's actually the place I have a deposit down on the Corvette C8 Zora, which is actually coming out in 2025. And even though it's about three or four years out, I'm still so excited. And honestly, that's something I'm saving up for for years. So that's gonna be a fantastic thing to come to the channel plus also while i'm there i'm fairly certain i need to get my brake fluid checked because they told me at 15,000 miles i was supposed to so while i'm there i'm just it's essentially going to be one big hoopla as you think in lift tires and power lift to be able or not power lift power steps to be able to get into this because i'm still short and i honestly still have to jump to get into the stock height one plus also in the event that you do get to go to montgomery county um pass on that opportunity this is it's a 40 area through here this is nonsense but without further ado, we are here, and they have the beautiful Snazzleberry Jeep on display right here. So I'll get back to you once I actually drop the Jeep off, because this is going to be fun. Okay, so I have talked with a guy. He's a fantastic guy. He's the main technician there, and he's also a frequent at my day job. And he's just a wonderful guy. We set up everything, and so I'm not going to be dropping off the Gladiator today, but we at least are going to work on getting the parts so that everything can be done. So it might be another day or two, but it'll be done. It's all set up and everything. Now, I gotta say, I originally was going to go with some type of military green wrap on the Gladiator, but the purple one out. But that's not what I wanted to say. That's just more of a whole sense it's here kind of thing. Since this is right next to a Chevrolet dealer, I get to drool over the Corvettes every single time I come to get my Jeep serviced, and it is just absolutely cool. And I can't wait to have the Zora in a few years. Which, <laughs> sorry, I'm running out of breath. I'm just that excited to see all of these vehicles. You got the high wing on that one. This is, I believe, the Red Mist Metallic, and then this is the Torch Red. And then you got the beautiful, uh, what was it, Accelerate Blue? No, Accelerate Yellow, something. It, this this is nice, I gotta admit. Just, I, have, I love everything about the C8 Corvette, and I can't wait to have mine. Just to, gotta give it, like, four years, which um, is a hell of a wait, but it's gonna be well worth it. But in the meantime, you get to enjoy to see what the GoPro's point of view is when it's actually connected to this little doodad here. Partially because this is just interesting, but secondly, because Montgomery County drivers are dog shit. Not even gonna lie. Good example of dog shit. Person in the left lane, in a 40, going like 38, which is not, not that cool. I know it's not that far off, but like seriously, the left lane, come on, dude. Like, you got three cars behind you for a reason. Like, come on. Now, I know that's not the most dog shit driving that I've seen in Montgomery County. I've seen a dude cut across four lanes to just make a simple turn or something. I don't know why, but there's been a whole lot worse, but it's very easy to find bad drivers in Montgomery County. It just, it's way too easy. They just hand out driver's licenses with Cracker Jacks or something. I don't know. So yes, it's been a couple of days. I've talked with the dealer. They wound up ordering the parts. The parts should be delivered tomorrow. There is one downside to it though. I could not order the power steps through the dealer. So I had to go and do it myself. And I learned the hard way you kind of want to order those ahead of time because i was not expecting it to take a full month um jesus is gonna be a while okay so i'll just practice my mario hops because i'm five foot nine and that truck is getting lifted about another four or five inches with the wheels and tires and everything combined so uh, it's gonna be real fun 
Okay, so I know this video is coming out and it's it's taken it's quite literally taken a month to make this video just because parts and everything started to become just in general a little little harder to get and having to wait for everything. I kind of think next time I'm just going to order the parts, have them delivered to my house, and then I'll take them to the dealer as in this last time I did that, I had all I had basically the dealer acquire the parts which was a little bit longer feeling even though both would probably be the same which way but let me let me just cut to the chase it's finally done <laughs> this is absolutely awesome and uh, and god forbid anybody complain about the jerk uh the <laughs> God forbid anybody complain about the dirt and all because you know it's a Jeep so you know it's going to get a little bit dirty who cares it's you can just wash it off it's it's just it's a vehicle but yeah these are the these are method race wheels the MR309s and I picked them because I wanted to go with black rims originally I was half debating going with bronze because sometimes there was just something special about dark bronze that I liked but you gotta admit, oh yeah, and also they took off the end caps, which honestly kind of ties it together when you all see it like this and all just all that jazz, you know? It just, it all, it brings it together and it kind of completes the look. But I went with the black rims because in in general, when the, uh, when the wrap age comes, which is about a year and a half to two years away maybe, um, it's gonna, it's gonna go back to black and uh, depending on what I do next... It, the wheels could clash with the color that I can choose from. But if I go with black rims, then just black goes with anything. Like really, what, what color doesn't black work with? Plus also, I had them, I had, per, I had asked them to basically let me keep the original parts. So that's what's in this crate right now. And that's actually gonna be kind of stuck there until I can get some, uh, some muscle to help me move this. Cause it does have the original suspension components in it. So I wouldn't be surprised if the thing is about 150 pounds and all, but it's, it's not that it's that heavy, but considering that the bed is now at the site where it's about, like, where my waist is, I don't exactly have the leverage needed to get it off easily, so I just figured I'll tie it down with the tie-down areas here, and then I'll just cruise around with it until I can get some friends to help me. Either that or I'll come up with some kind of elaborate pulley system and all. But you gotta admit, when it all comes together, it just looks nice. I've always, I've always loved just monster trucks growing up. So being able to kind of say that I have one to a degree, it just feels really cool. And for anybody wondering, these tires are the BF Goodrich KO2s. I had originally actually thought about putting this type of tire back when I had a Wrangler, which for anybody who was watching like the Reddit channel and all that stuff, my end card was me being stupid for a period of time where I was just jumping off of it. But yes, originally I was going to be working with the Wrangler, but then I saw the Gladiator and I got to admit, initially, I did not like the design, but it just, it kind of grew on me. So I'm, uh, I'm actually kind of glad that it decided to grow on me. It, it turned out pretty good and I feel very content with this decision. But with that being said, and this big decision and all, this might actually be the last like really, really big modification I do to the Gladiator for a decent amount of time just because of the financial impact that it had because I'll admit this was not cheap this was the thing was the whole the whole shebang of the suspension the tires and everything was a little over six grand I'm not I'm not gonna hide that that is that's doing a suspension and lift kit and tires and everything for jeeps are not cheap so whenever you see one People really thought about them, and uh, people really were certain that they wanted to do this. There's no, there isn't anybody that ever goes half kind of iffy on one of these things. It's something that, uh, it's something you got to be like pretty certain on doing. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to do mods at all. No, anything. If anything, I'm probably going to do like a stubby antenna or anything just because I don't like this thing flapping in the wind. Uh, and on my Wrangler, I actually did have a stubby antenna and it was just nice. Uh, the only downside is that I forgot to take it off when I traded in the Wrangler. So uh, now whoever's buying the uh, that Wrangler, they're getting a stubby antenna for free. Uh, which kind of sucks because that thing was like 15 bucks. Now, just because I say that I'm not planning on doing any major mods in the future doesn't mean that I already have some or that I don't have some in mind. I very much do plan on re-gearing because I got to admit with the lift kit and everything, it is rather sluggish. That is, that's, that was something I was completely expecting. 
it just initially I was I had a little trouble getting used to it but just if you give it enough time you learn your vehicle all over again so we got that also um, about these um, these are still the standard rock rails so the, I have the power steps coming in so that would actually be I guess the next major mod on top of the regearing for it all so just give that time and you'll get these little I'll see these little uh, steps that pop down instead of me having to tiptoe and almost fall out of it every single time because I got to admit I am uh, I'm, I'm really am five foot nine and this thing uh, I believe the height now is like six foot five six foot six I'm kind of anxious on taking it into any sort of parking garage just because I I would don't want to find out that I don't fit the hard way. I would rather like measure it and then just ease on into it to figure it out. And then once I know where I can and can't go, then that'll make everything a whole lot easier. As for stuff that I plan on doing with the Jeep, uh, well, obviously, um, I have stuff in mind. Like all of the really big stuff would be an axle swap and the big end game kind of one would be an engine swap. And I'd very much like to put a Hellcat in it just because it has that little special wine that everybody knows and loves. And when it comes to other mods, other smaller stuff, I did kind of figure out that Jeep actually does make a factory half door. So um, that might actually be something that I plan on doing because I would very much like to take the doors off or have some kind of way where I can have more of an open experience over just opening the windows and taking the um, the other the roof off because I know you have these two panels up here that you can do and then you got the big one in the back that you kind of need a friend or uh, or very good leverage in order to remove because the truck bed doesn't exactly make it easy for you to just pick that thing up and walk it back. But what I do hope to do with this channel is a whole lot of fun stuff. I'd like for there to be much more than just gladiator content. I know, yes, this is kind of, this is the only vehicle I have right now, but the cool thing is I actually have a deposit down on the C8 Corvette Zora, which is the rumored 1000 horsepower electric hybrid assisted one that is supposed to be like the ultimate Corvette. And like, I, I, I'm not even BSing anybody. I have the deposit form and everything. It's kind of just once it gets announced, I'll be one of the first people there. So who knows, maybe I get VIN number one. That would actually be really cool. And I fully intend on getting that thing delivered at the museum. So I'll be able to just road trip that home and it would just, that would be a fantastic thing to be able to do and just video it all. But with that, that's gonna have to be it for this video. I wanna definitely do more with the automotive channel that I don't really have much on it. And it's kind of an inconsistent thing cause I gotta admit Montgomery County is not really the best area for car content. I do, we do have Savage Garage, which are local guys. So if I can do anything with that or Savage Off-Road, which is something I did do with them before, I would love to video record it because now I got something I can actually work with here because so I'd very much like to have more. And every time I see a new subscriber, uh, this goes all the way back to the beginning of the Reddit channel. Every time I saw a new subscriber, it just gave me that little bit of motivation to keep going forward. And that one turned into 60,000 subscribers, so who knows, maybe this one can as well. But, uh, so, if you want to be one of the absolutely amazing people that help me get up in the morning every day, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you would like to see on the channel, whether it be gladiator content or just car show stuff in general, or more maybe as the channel grows, who knows, maybe I get monetized and get myself a Lamborghini or something, that, that would be cool. You know, that would actually be really cool. Uh, help that happen, please. So, you know, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.